Well, we're uh, just starting the day out here. It's about minus two and snowing. And uh, you can see we got about inch, inch and a half of uh, some heavy snow there last night. This is uh, snare number two to come up on and we got ourselves a, a coyote. Looks like uh, well, that looks like a nice, nice colors on them. Got lots of black. This snare here, I've had uh, again. You guys know my my fence sets, but uh, that's the hole there, and uh, it's just wired off. This one here was wired off with number nine. Uh, black annealed wire you can see it around the birch tree there um, and uh, yeah this uh, this snare has been out this is its second year um, when I'm done I just close the loop and hang it off to the side so nothing can get caught in it on the off season that way it sort of just naturally stays um, unscented and then when uh, trapping season comes and I want to hang it well I just uh, put the cotton gloves on and rehang the snare and everything's all set to go. So, anyway, I'll uh, get this guy uh, out of the snare. He's dead, got a little bit of snow on him, so he must have got caught sometime early last night, I'm thinking. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Get him taken out of the snare here and we'll have a look at him. So, there's the coyote. Got him out of the snare. And uh, it's a male. He's got a nice coat on him. I don't see any rubs. It's amazing though how, uh, how quick they can start to smell. I mean, he was just caught there last night. And, um, as soon as I cut the snare, I could, you know, with a little bit of gas come out of his mouth and, whew, stanky. But, uh, yeah, nice sized dog. Got a nice dark coat on him. Yeah. So, I gotta come right by here on the way back, so I'm gonna leave him out of the sleigh so he's not bouncing around. And, uh, I'll pick them up on the way back. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Good stuff. Okay. And the so we got that coyote hung up here. Got him on the scales. And I would say that he was pretty much my average weight. This is coyote number seven. And I would say that he was probably close to the average weight of all the coyotes I caught this year. And he weighs just shy of 50 pounds. Call him, call him 49. Heavy 49, but 49 pounds. So, nice big male. So I'll get him skinned and uh, fleshed and stretched and yeah so yeah there he is weighed more than I uh, was thinking he was going to but that's all right alrighty guys thanks for watching just walking down the trail here these tracks weren't here yesterday but if you look Like there's my hand compared to it. It's like the size of like a house cat track, but uh, it's not. I can tell because it's uh, like it's um, longer, almost like a raccoon, but it's too small to be raccoon. So I think it's actually skunk. Like it's been warm. Uh, this morning it was only like minus five. 
but you can see like there's one, two, three, four, five sets going down the trail here, going both ways. But uh, yeah, I've never seen I've never seen this many little tracks like that. I mean, I've seen where there's lots of coon tracks, but I think these are skunks. So that's uh, that's pretty interesting. Anyway. Just thought I'd show you guys that. Just coming up to my last snare here. Um, I don't see anything. But, uh, yeah. Just kind of surprised at how many little tracks there are. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Anyway. Let me know uh, what you guys think. What kind of tracks those are? Alrighty. Um, yeah. Uh, another little note. Uh, probably, let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, supposed to be minus 14 um, at night. So uh, it's still really warm during the days. Spring is definitely here. But uh, yeah, I'll ch I'm going to keep trapping for as long as I can. Um, I was actually going to pull up like last week and I'm glad I didn't because I've picked up two more coyotes since then so um, weather has permitted to uh, for me to be able to continue to trap so I've been doing so um, but yeah probably I'm thinking don't hold me to it but maybe maybe another week um, just with the weather uh, I don't know how much snow we'll have left in, in another week there so uh, yeah the videos will slow um, but we will I will be putting up uh, more farm series um, especially with calving um, within a well the calve calving due date is in a week so um, I'll be doing more videos on the farm series side of things than the trapping, uh, especially once I pull up. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy these videos, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys uh, up to date. Alrighty. <laughs>